So let's start there. <laughs> you can tell us about this Graviton chip, the Tranium 2 chip, and maybe this kind of relates to a general question that I've been meaning to ask you this whole episode and I have just continued to forget uh, with each wonderful explanation that you give after another, which is that why should somebody, why should a listener, for example, consider using an accelerator like Tranium and Inferentia instead of a GPU? Maybe that's uh, maybe that's a great question to start with. And then I'll remind you of the other, the series <laughs> of questions that led me to that question. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, so I mean, fundamentally at, at AWS, you know, we, we really believe in customer choice. Like we believe in a cloud, we believe in a cloud service, you know, provider that enables customers to have choice about data sets, have choice about models, and have choice about accelerated hardware. Uh, we think it's it's good for customers to have that ability um, and to have real you know, options uh, that is ultimately best for consumers and that, that's best for customers. So, so fundamentally, that's, that's the direction. Um, Annapurna Labs is an awesome company. Annapurna Labs has been building infrastructure for AWS for many years. Uh, so Annapurna Labs is a startup that Amazon acquired in 2015, um, primarily to develop the hypervisor, actually. So they developed what's called the Nitro system. Yeah, we'll talk it through. So they developed, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's like the coolest story in tech that is is the least told. So, so here's the scoop. Um, so in 2015, uh, the way people were doing cloud 10 years ago, uh, is you had this thing called the hypervisor. And the hypervisor essentially was this giant monolithic software system that managed the entire host of all servers. And the challenge with the hypervisor systems is that it made it really hard to innovate for the cloud uh, because all of the control the communication, the data at the server level was implemented in this giant monolithic thing called the hypervisor. So Annapurna had this crazy idea of decoupling the parts of the hypervisor that you need to scale at the cloud at the physical level. So they developed what's called the Nitro system today, which provides physical separation for things like the data that's running on the instance from the communication that's controlling the instance. And so this is both how AWS scales and how AWS provides such strong security guarantees is because physically there are two different controls. <laughs> there's one physical you know, chip, or there's one physical component of the hardware system that is managing the data the customer's data, and there's a different physical control that's managing the governance of the instance. And so every modern EC2 instance today is built on the Nitro system. So that was the first major development for Manapurna Labs was Nitro. So that's that's Nitro, like nitroglycerin, N-I-T-R-O. <laughs> uh, N-I-T-R-O, yeah. And Explosive. It's, it's <laughs> yes, yes. So, so after the Nitro system, um, Annapurna started developing their second uh, sort of main product line, which is Graviton. So Graviton are custom CPUs, custom ARM-based CPUs developed by Annapurna Labs. And if you watched reInvent, one of the uh, you know, highlights that you saw is that today, more than half of new compute that comes onto AWS is actually Graviton CPU. Oh. Yes. So when you're looking at instances on AWS, when you see that little G at the end of a family, so like a C6G or even a G5G, that second G means it's a Graviton CPU. Um, so that means you're going to get much better performance at a very you know competitive price. Uh, and so the Graviton CPU is our second like main product line. And then Trainium and Infrentia is the third main product get category from Annapurna Labs, which is now let's take you know, this awesome ability that we've created in developing infrastructure and scaling infrastructure across AWS, and let's focus that on AIML. 
And so Inferentia, of course, was developed and, you know, came out a number of years ago. Teranium-3 is our third generation chip. Uh, so it's the third generation accelerator for AIML. Um, and that is why it's such an exciting moment, right? Because you see the breadth and the scope and the incredible results that Annapurna has delivered like over the years. Uh, and now this is totally focused uh, and, and now a large focus is AIML. And so when, you know, customers are taking advantage of this, like fundamentally, they're interested because they get the benefits of price performance, like more than anything, it's, it's this, you know, benefit of highly optimized compute that is scarily energy efficient. <laughs> Berna is so good at identifying improvement areas to just take cost out of the equation um, and reduce complexity and pass performance and pass you know cost savings back to customers uh, while you know meeting performance and in many cases exceeding performance. So tier and two is actually the most powerful EC2 instance on AWS for AIML. Like full stop <laughs> when you look at the you know performance metrics that we're seeing, it's it's a very exciting moment. It's an exciting moment for customers. Um, exciting moment for the whole group. Trinium 2 is the most powerful on AWS. Correct.